குட் மார்னிங் எவ்ரிபடி ஐம் சாரி மை தமிழ் அவ்வளோ நல்லா பேச மாட்டேன் பட் இங்கிலீஷ் இஸ் குட் மார்னிங் குட் மார்னிங் எவ்ரிபடி ஐ எம் ஷோர் இங்கிலீஷ் இஸ் வாட் யூ சே த நோன் லாங்குவேஜ் டு மோஸ்ட் பீப்புள் இஸ் தட் ஓகே இங்கிலீஷில் பேசலாமா ஓகே ஃபைன் கிரேட் So this is a different format. Revdi has been in Chennai for decades. 171 clubs here in uh, District 3232. And none of you thought to ask her to become a Rotarian. <laughs> But now she's a Rotarian with the Organ Donation Club. And uh, we welcome the first actor in India to become a Rotarian. I don't know of any other actor who is a Rotarian. I'd like to specifically thank uh, DG Nandakumar for inviting me here. And God's grace, I've been able to come because when he invited me, I was somewhere in Ecuador or Colombia driving on my way to Melbourne. The uh, opportunity to speak to 171 clubs of District 3232 of which our club belongs we wanted to make sure that cutting short that journey to make it here was well worth it because at the end of the day we want to make sure that there is no one dying waiting for an organ at least in 3232 <coughs> it's really important that we as rotarians understand what organ donation is what it takes because if we don't understand we're not going to tell our communities what to make of it so the idea of coming here and appealing to all of you is to have you educate yourselves or have each other educate each other so that we can sustain we can have a sustained effort of an organ donation project in each of our clubs every year just like we do for polio in my opinion i think polio is getting very lonely it needs some company so i invited revathi to join our club for a very specific reason now revathi i know why i invited you why did you say yes <laughs> okay um just just i know anil knows about it i just wanted um, to tell you all that very long ago and for me uh, many things are long long ago so in 97 or so dr shroff of mohan foundation invited me to be the first organ organ donor card holder and that was in chennai so anala i have the organ card holder or organ donor card holder from 97 onwards so i believe that if if medicine has come to a point where a person's organ can be taken out whether living or uh, cadaver can be taken out and given to another person so that his or her life is um, you know ha- the person has a better life so why not so after a lot of conversations with dr shroff and the way he believed in it i believed in what he said and i decided to be uh, i mean be a car, uh, organ card holder so at any point if sometime in my life if there is a um, uh, you know brain death then uh, my my uh, sister whom I, whom i have spoken to or my family can donate all my organs and uh, you know it's already written there or even after my death then at least my eyes can be donated so uh, you know you don't need to ask anybody's permission there is this card that says that please donate all my organs so uh, that is how you know i got into organ donation and so anil when you asked me about this uh, rotary club of organ donation i was quite um, enthused to join well thank you now what she said is a very interesting setup for me to tell you what i'm going to say now in india i don't know how many of you know the law states that only your next of kin has the right to donate your organ so even if you have a card it doesn't matter the card has no legal validity 
it is not valid legally. You still need permission of your next of kin, and that's the law in India. Which means you've got to have this conversation with your family. They've got to consent with you. You've got to keep talking to them about your wishes, as if it were your last wish. And nobody likes to emotionally discard somebody's last wishes in our culture, right? So that's how you have to use this. So the card is only an intent, a display of your intent. While she spoke about at least my eyes can be donated post my life, there are many other things that you can donate apart from your eyes. Imagine your heart valves going to a child because most children are needing heart valves with heart conditions. Imagine your skin going to a burn victim to heal them, to reconstruct their face or their arms or whatever else. Imagine your kneecaps or the bones going to somebody else. So pretty much what science is doing is validating the spiritual sanction of our bodies to help somebody else. It's funny, I was um, in a Ganesh puja, in a Ganesh pandal outside of India, the biggest one in, in the world outside of India in New Jersey this year. And most people over there would come and say, no, 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 I don't believe in organ donation. So all I asked them is, do you believe in Lord Ganesh? They said, yes, of course we believe in Lord Ganesh because that's why we're here. I said, well, an elephant gave Ganesh some hope and now Ganesh gives us hope. So why can't we be somebody's elephant and give somebody else some hope? It's inherent, it's inbuilt in our culture. We just need to recognize it beyond the fears that we have. And the problem with love is fear rules it. The fear of death. In our culture, we don't speak about death. The moment you normalize it, you're less afraid of it. When you're less afraid of it, there's time for love to show up. Brothers don't give brothers a kidney or a liver when necessary. Sisters don't give sisters. Why? Because they're afraid. And love dies. So it's imperative that you continue to understand this and start teaching it to the people that you serve in your communities, in your Rotary Clubs. Now the f medium of film, have you had a chance to bring these themes into the films because films have a nice way of reaching people? Um, uh, films, whatever we say, people believe. You know, diseases um, So, uh, you know, there are times that you give the wrong information and there are times that we, uh, people like me, research on a specific cause and we uh, give the right information. So recently, I, it was very interesting. I did two films, one as an actor and one as a director. I directed a movie called Salam Venki. And uh, this is about uh, a real life story of a boy who uh, lived in Hyderabad. He had Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, basically this particular disease, you know, your muscles get wasted um, and it's a degenerative disease and most kids die by the age of 18, 20. This boy was amazing and thanks to his mother. Most mothers are like that, you know, they're the heroes of uh, uh, children who need support. So, um, she helped him achieve several dreams and in the end when just before you know as he was coming close to his death he said that I want to donate all my organs and uh, for that it has to be um, only uh, if euthanasia was uh, you know possible. So um, it was a tough one and this mother Sujata she fought it in Hyderabad court. There was also an appeal because they said no euthanasia is illegal in India and it's very difficult uh, for it to come in India because it will be misused quite a bit. They reappealed. Even then it was a no. But then he started the conversation. Dignity in death. You know, if, if you are already confined in the hospital, how, how do you die with dignity? And the other thing is about organ donation. That there are... Uh, at least a minimum of six to seven people who, who, um, who, who are benefited with organ donation. 
So Venkatesh started this conversation and I wanted to make this film and I have made this movie called Salam Venki, which has actually started showing um, on uh, ZTV from uh, yesterday, 10th. So uh, Z5 started uh, showing it. So that is one film. And as an actor, I did another film called A Zindagi in which I am the counselor. And this is also a true story about Lalita Raghuram and Mr. Raghuram. Lalita's 20-year-old son had an accident, a road accident in 2004. And um, it was, I think, in uh, January. He was declared brain dead. And that mother, I have met her several times. She works with um, uh, Mohan Foundation. She counsels people to donate um, you know, the organs of their loved ones. So she donated her son's organs when he was declared brain dead at the age of 20. I thought that was amazing. And I played her in A Zindagi. So these were two films that I did last year and it came out back to back. And uh, one I was acting and one I was directing. And both the films are somewhere connected to Mohan Foundation. You know, one a counselor in Mohan Foundation and the other, because when Venkatesh was um, wanting to give, Mohan Foundation gave him a lot of advice. So in the Madri, in the organ donation has been part of my life for at least two to two and a half decades. And I have seen several people who are close to me surviving because of organ donation. So I, I feel very close to this cause. And um, like Anil said, none of the religions have said anything about organ donation. Religion patilla. It is about medicine has grown to an extent where a person's heart can be removed and given to another person and that heart beats in that person for several years. Why can't we do it? It is just basic, simple. We have to give it to if you don't have somebody can see. But now medicine has given us the opportunity. So that's why we have to do it. We have to do it. So I feel that, you know, we really need to think about it. And Rotary as an organization has done amazing work in the field of polio. And Anil was talking that, you know, if, if Rotary comes together and sees to it that no one dies because of, uh, I mean, uh, because of waiting for an organ. If we can do that, and Rotary, you're all very powerful people because you have this network which is international. So this power, if we can use and help people who need organs and help the medical community who is able to do it, I'm sure, you know, there will be many people who will thank Rotary again, like how everybody thanks for what Rotary has done with Polio Plus program. Again, Rotary will be thanked for and will be remembered, you know, by several thousands because you will be helping them, you know, have a better life. So do think about this program. I'm sure, you know, Anil will be and able just to... just as news for you, kidney disease is becoming the number one killer in India. And definitely in South India and definitely in Tamil Nadu. More people are dying of CKD than t tuberculosis. And that's unnecessary. But uh, thank you for that uh, plug, Revati, because I'm going to get to this final place where I need you to see something and hear of something. Organ donation is the privilege of the rich in this country. Poor people have love in their homes. They have donors willing to give it to them, but they don't have money for the treatment. So the Rotary Club of Organ Donation is doing its first global grant, thanks to DG Nandakumar, who's supporting it that we want to do 100 free transplants for women and children. We've negotiated a very, very low price with two hospitals, Manipal and Astor, because they have a national network. 
and each transplant costs six and a half lakhs now. With 170 clubs in this district alone, we can complete this mission without a global grant, frankly, if each club donates six and a half lakhs. Now, I challenge anybody here today now, I will match at least two transplants. So if I get two people saying, I'll, tra I'll donate one, I'll donate one, I will match till two. I will give two. So if anyone's up to the challenge here, who can say, yes, I'll give you one, and I'll give one too. So we'll get four today. Four people can live for sure today if you want to go there. Okay, so think about this. There's one hand come up there. Two, three, four, five. Wow. You're all going to give one transplant donate? This is going to either a child or a woman. Why a woman? Because there is a gender bias where poorer families think the life of a woman is less important. So they don't spend money on them. And so we want to make sure that we change that thinking. Yes. The last thing, sorry, Revati, go ahead. No, so if uh, the Rotary Club of Organ Donation can get these the details of these 10, 10 or 12 hands that came up, it will be fabulous. It, it will and be a we great can story. start this rolling, you know. I know Kalankatala uh, uh, do, donation of uh, uh, kidney problems of patiyum, peser the vandu periyya nalla vishyum kadeyadu. But I think we are talking about life, giving life. And I think that is an amazing start to a day. So, um, yes, that's fabulous. Anil, you, you should continue that. So if see every, that. So see if that. If everyone who's raised a hand after this talk would meet us over there, that would be really great. The last thing I need you to know is organ donation wow. can happen when you're alive. I've started this mission because I'm a living example of that. I want you to know that I'm a kidney donor. I gave it to my Rotarian brother who's a neurosurgeon. Both of us represent India. This is my Team India t-shirt. We represent India in the World Transplant Games. And in the history of the games, the 44-year history of the games, for the first time, a recipient and a donor both won gold for the country. So my brother and I both won gold for India in the 2019 games. <laughs> Only to show you that even living on one kidney, you can live a healthy, active, athletic life. And I'm 55 now. And I can run the 100 meter sprint in 13.6 seconds. So it just goes to show, go ahead and donate a kidney or a liver to someone you love in your families. You will be okay. DG? I would request the people who put your hands up again. Can you put your hands up? Super. Why don't you all who put your hands up come on the stage, please? Thank you. <laughs> I think recognizing people who, who are willing to donate is fabulous. I don't know if Sharath is here. He's from the Rotary Club of Gindi. He's a kidney donor, but he never talked about it. There are lots of Rotarians who are organ donors, living donors, but don't talk about it. So please, you must. Because every time you show people your life, they're, they're inspired. So Anil, all these people are giving you how much per head? Six and a half lakhs, one transplant. For every nice. transplant. So they're going to tell me now how much each one of them is going to be giving us. Now. Come. So put your hands together come, come. to these noble souls who are hi, giving hi. their come, organs. Come, come this side. Hi. Come this side, Wang. Hi. Please come this side. Come, come, come. come. Yeah. come what, a, what a noble message in hi. the morning. Wang, how are you? Oh. Careful. Hi, well, hi. This is overwhelming. I wasn't expecting this kind of response. <laughs> Sumedha. You know him? Yes. This is something extraordinary. We have so, so many this, people. All these people are going to be giving us some money. Anil, yeah. you need to start very fast no, and Anil, go. Anil, what are you doing? I'm going to get two people in Chennai. What are you doing in Chennai? Huh? That's right. You don't know your district. <laughs> huh? This is my first year in the district. We are going to be a one-year-old club in March. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Incidentally, Anil, Sridhar started your club last year, just for your information. DG Sridhar, is it good to meet you finally? finally yes. I meet you today, but yes. I'm online. So, he so he's also going to give you 6.5 lakhs, don't worry. Okay, done. That's me. Thank Hi. you. And this is your next governor, know him, Ravi Raman. Yeah. 
So Ravi, how many, how much are you going to support him? Yeah, you are already supporting him too much. You have too many supporting. He will do it, what needs to be done. So let's start with somebody who is going to donate. My eyes. No, no, no. no we are talking about… We are talking about money. We what are, talking, are you going to contribute for this? We are talking about supporting… For, for whatever Anil asked. Yeah. We are actually asking Entry about body. supporting the six and a body half lakh for each donation. So that is what he's talking about. Yeah, one transplant, six and a half lakhs from me, one from transplant. my family. It's not Srikanth of uh, Chennai upscale. So what we're asking for, a lot of people here on the stage have come to say that we will okay. donate so this organ or that organ. So all of you who are interested in contributing money for this, after this, can get down and go to the side over there and give your names to them and we will get in touch with you and uh, take this forward from there. Let's pose for and a quick picture. And those of you are, who came up here to give an organ, please inform your family. Only then will it happen. Yeah. Thank you. So, that was a wonderful message given by both Anil and Revati and put, give them a big hand for this. Noble uh, cause, making people live, giving life to people, nothing better than that. Namayinere ye yosi kavey tenege chid. Kaya me idu payeda, virum kaatra deitta payeda. Maayanar koyavan seida man pandam vodada in kirida sitter padal. Udal dhanam patri arumeyana pagir dalai kande manam nereindo. We invite IPDG Sridhar to honor the guests. Requesting IPDG Sridhar to stay back on stage and to honor the speaker. So, our next session is going to be from Swami Mitrananda and to take them, take you through those sessions, we have Kajal Lalwani and Balachandar, the MCs for the session. So friends, the first cost-based club in our district, Rotary Club of Organ Donation, and, and we are today formally pinning the Rotary pin on to uh, uh, Rotarian Revati. Can I, or, sorry, can I invite the two members of our club over here, my, the club secretary Archana and Marianne. Dr. Archana, who just flew from Delhi for this uh, talk and this meet, uh, conference today. We are a virtual club, so we don't get to meet each other very much, so, correct. <laughs> a caregiver to her husband who had two transplants. <laughs> 